this unit here, it does side scanning sonar, and it also does dual beam plus, which is something that Hummingbird has. So with this, when you power it on, it'll come up, it takes it a few seconds to boot up, and then you'll hit the hit the exit button right here, and allow you to come in, it'll default to the screen here. On the screen here, it gives you your current depth, and it has depth markers as zero, 7.5, 15, 22.5, 30. This dark area right here is the bottom of the lake where we're at. This is a straight line beam coming down. You're not looking at a flat area. And this right here is the water column. This over here is our boat. So as time goes by, it will tick this way as the boat is moving, doing basically scans. It'll scan and it'll add to the image that's already there. So, and again, this is our water column right here. So this is our depth. Anything that floats underneath this transducer that's right here on the left side will come up in this area here. When we hit the view, we will go to the next page, and there are several of them. This one gives you your side scan now, and we'll talk more about the side scan here in a minute. And then over here is a split screen that gives you your water column depth. So now it almost gives you a two-dimensional view. It gives you the side and your depth going down. Does that make sense? So you can see the top of something, and you can see the side of something. Okay. Another split screen. This is more of a traditional depth finder here, and you can see how it's scanning and how it's moving. You really can't see this one move, but this one you can. Anything that is all, uh, red right here is a very dense. So that right there tells me that the bottom of this lake where we're at right now is going to be rocks. And then beneath, beneath it is going to be like silt and whatnot. Does that make sense? Anything that floats in underneath that transducer is going to show up. If it's about the size of a fish and it gives a reflection off the way sonar works with absorbing with absorbing the sound, it will bounce back. Right here, that looks, it's gonna be a, like a tree branch sticking up. Right there, you see that? Mm -hmm. And so as the boat moves, as you see, it's gonna keep going by. So next page, same thing, but now we have three screens. You have side scan, you have your depth here, and again, your depth up here. This one is what we will use to most likely find an object such as a vehicle or, I don't know, a drone, something of that nature because it can pick up the density of it. This one here can also pick up the density, but it's a lot harder to read than this one is. As you can see, you can't hardly see it, but you see right there those little lines up, up there, that cluster? Down here it's more defined of a line, up here it's more of a cluster. And see there's another one coming in. You can see that there on the bottom, but down here you don't see anything. So this one down here is more refined of the density of an object. So now here is your side scan. And this is what this is all going to be about today. So with the side scan, the way it works right now, it's set to 150 feet out on the left and the right side. So that means we are now currently looking out 300 total feet. In order to understand how this reads, if you were to take this screen and rotate it 90 degrees, you with me so far? You will see the boat, you'll see this line right here. That line's gonna be the surface. And then this is gonna be the, your water column in the center of that dark area right here. And this edge of the blue is the actual the bottom of the lake. Does that make sense? Okay. So you turn it sideways, that's how. And then from that point outward, is actually picking up and scanning as you move along with the boat, as that transducer moves. It doesn't have to be a boat, it could be anything that that transducer is hooked to. And the way this works is it puts out pings, just like you would with a submarine with sonar. It puts out, if I'm not mistaken, four pings every second. And pings that you won't hear because of the frequency of them. And we'll get the frequencies here in a minute. But every four, it'll do four per second. And it'll add those four together to form this image. This is always gonna be our boat. This is always going to be history. The further down it goes, the further back in history. So if you're going along and you're looking for a drowning victim and you see him down here, that drowning victim is now probably 75 to 100 feet away from you. You passed him. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense? When you catch him right here, now you're almost right there at him. Now, depending on the conditions that you're in, you may want, I would suggest changing these to from 150. I will do side scans at 75 feet. If I can get away with it, I'll do them at 50. Doesn't do a lot of coverage area, but think about what I'm fixing to tell you. 150 feet out, let's say a drowning victim is five feet tall. 
That drowning victim on this screen here is going to be about a 30 seconds of an inch in size. Yeah. Think about it, 150 feet, and you're looking at a five foot sliver. Very small. So the the shorter the range of this, so if this was 50, now or let's just cut this down to half to 75. So now your drowning victim that was 130 seconds or 1 16th of an inch is now doubled in size. He's now possibly an eighth of an inch in size which makes them a lot easier to see. And you're gonna need that because human bodies, due to the soft tissue, they don't reverberate sound very well. It's not like a rock or a fish. Fish has scales, ping off of a fish, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. A body will not. And if you can get close enough, you can actually see the image of the body because most drowning victims are palms out, hands up, like, you know, and then your feet are going to be spread apart and you can actually see that image. The thing with side scan, you'll notice the colors here. When you have an area that is neutral blue, that's going to be flat. So if we were coming along straight right now and all of a sudden we see a dark area come out to the side like this, that's going to be a drop off or a decrease in depth, a hole, whatever you want to call it. When it gets a lighter blue, that's going to be an increase so you're getting shallower, or the terrain on the bottom is getting shallower. It's coming upwards. Coming out from the boat is 75 feet, so right. if we happen to see Justin come up over here on the side when he swims past the, our rear motor, mm -hmm. you'll see him pop up up here somewhere, and when you do, what you'll have to do is you know your maximum is 75 feet at that edge, and there's your water column right there at your boat mm -hmm. at the bottom, so now you do the math. See, there he is right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> see his feet? Okay. Yep. See his arms? Uh-huh. See his arms? See his legs coming out? Yep. And so now you can freeze. Move the cursor over to him. And zoom in on him. And yeah, you could say that's the body. You got legs right there. You got arms. Okay, cool. And for that right there, we would send our divers down to investigate. 